All right, so hi everyone, thanks for coming to my talk. I'm Carol, and uh, when Johan asked me whether I could do my talk in 15 minutes, I just said yes without thinking about it. So, <laughs> but now it looks like maybe I have like 17 minutes, so let's see what we can do with this. And I've worked my heart rate up to like 90 BPM, so I'm keeping pace. All right, let's go. So about me, I wanted to cut the crap so I just wanted to say I'm Carol Chen. You can find me as Cybet on most the, uh, social media like Twitter, um, Facebook, uh, Diaspora somewhere. Oh, GitHub, of course, and uh, even Freenode IRC. So if you want to know more about me, just uh, connect with me there. And um, I'm going to talk, uh, be talking about community management and conducting. And uh, I'm going to do it in cut common time, which is the symbol right there. If those of you who know music knows that it's usually used for something with a faster tempo. So that's where I'm going with right now. So my favorite letter is C, for some strange reason. <laughs> so all right, so what does a community manager or conductor do? And what are the similarities between them? That's what you usually see, like a conductor in front of an orchestra. He seems to be waving his arms around, and magic happens, and music comes from the players, and everything goes cool and nice. And even the conductor might be thinking, oh, I'm just you know, waving my arms, wave the stick, whatever. And these are some of the uh, sources for the graphics. OK, by a show of hands, who plays in an ensemble or an orchestra or something? No one. Wow, OK. Who's the community manager or ha does something similar? OK, all right. Why are you in this talk? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Maybe you'll learn something, I hope. So what about community manager? These are some, I guess, uh, possible scenarios you think. Like, it's, it's easy when you say, I'm an engineer, and OK, you write code. I'm a designer. OK, you make everything look pretty. Yeah, I'm a technical writer. Oh, you write the docs. Uh, or even marketing manager. Oh, you promote the products. Community ma I'm a community manager. Oh, okay. You uh, what is it that you do again? Uh, I got this source from this Flickr uh, account, but actually, it's since Flickr is going away, it's not the link is not working anymore. So uh, it might be in available in Wayback Machine or something. So I hope to. I don't know who the original author is. Um, yes, yeah, so I think most of the value that a community manager or a conductor brings to the community or the orchestra uh, is a lot of times unseen, like it's behind the scenes. It's before the performance. It's uh, you know, something that's not readily uh, visible. And some of these stereotypes that you see uh, in the previous slides don't, doesn't tell the full story. I was in Singapore just uh, last month and uh, had a chance to go to an open rehearsal of the orchestra with uh, Andrew Litton, who is currently the guest conductor at Sim Singapore Symphony. And actually, the, the, the coincidence is that when I was living in Dallas, he was the uh, main conductor for the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. So it's nice to see him again with a different symphony orchestra and see how, he, uh, how the dynamics is him with another different orchestra. And uh, so, yeah, because the main concert was sold out, I went to the open rehearsal, which is actually more of what I'm interested in. I like to see what, I mean, I know the piece. I, I like to see like what are the things they work through more because it's more challenging or, um, you know, because they have a soloist who don't usually play with the orchestra. So it could be something like an external contributor to a community project, uh, to a project that may not be used to the dynamics of the uh, community of the main group of developers, for example. So, you know, wha what they talk about, what they discuss, that's actually sometimes, because you don't see that at a performance, but that's actually how they make the piece uh, sound really good and how, they how, how a community man manager might do to make the project more successful. So, um, what what does okay be before that um, as soloists uh, like for example this uh, violinist his name is Ray Chen 
when he plays by himself, he probably doesn't need a conductor. When there's a small group of uh, developers working on a project, probably they don't need a full you know, community manager full time or something because when, when you start small, uh, the, the need for that may not be uh, immediately uh, av uh, apparent. But uh, as the community grows, when you have you know, uh, people, different groups doing different things like testing, translations, um, uh, documentation, and so on, you need some kind of a coordination, especially when you involve external contributors or contributors from different backgrounds. So I think uh, in the same way a conductor brings together when you have different players, you know, a violin uh, section might play wonderfully by themselves, but um, you know, combine them with the trumpets, you know, you need to balance them and uh, you need to make sure uh, in certain sections maybe the trumpets should shine more and in other sections, you know, the um, oboe or something should come up more. In the same way in a project, you know, there are times for development where it's uh, more focused and at a certain time, you know, the, the testing is more important and towards the end maybe you bring in marketing and uh, communication and things like that to promote the project. So what is it uh, that makes uh, perhaps a good conductor or a good community manager? A conductor usually, well, you can't expect a conductor to know how to play every single instrument well. Uh, they usually are, um, they might master in one instrument. For example, Andrew Litton, the one in the previous picture, he's actually a very accomplished pianist. And uh, the, the conductor of the orchestra I'm playing in, he's a professional uh, violin player in another orchestra. So similarly, a community manager may have different backgrounds. Uh, I personally, I have been a software engineer in Nokia previously for eight and a half years, but there are community managers from a marketing background, uh, documentation, and uh, design, or you know some other related areas. So, is there a skill set that is like a necessary thing for community managers? I think it's good to have some of some knowledge of everything, like. Uh, I do know a bit of web design that I can help to maintain the website for our project. Uh, I know enough about marketing and SEO to uh, uh, make the blog posts and social media and make that happen. But um, I don't think any single one of them is like absolutely necessary. So as a conductor studies the whole score to know what each part is playing, what, where, what, what is important and which parts, um, the community manager knows uh, different functions and different contributors, who is doing what. And uh, I get to work with my, our engineering team and also uh, testing team, as well as uh, external uh, contributors from the community. And not just that, also like uh, people who, who help plan meetups and events like this uh, from different areas. They are part of the community as well. and. Uh, I actually, a lot of my contacts uh, are, are these event planners uh, who, who are in the community. So how do you take this, all these this different type of contributors and players and what so on and bring out the best in them? By listening and knowing their strengths and sometimes weaknesses. So if you know who does what well, you can put them in the proper uh, kind of a task. For example, I know some people in my, in my teams, uh, the teams I work with, they like to um, do presentations so I, I can enlist their help in at different events to speak. Or you know, if, if there are certain, some are um, certain topic experts that you know, they can help with. And uh, some people with different language abilities, they can help with translations. Listen for balance. You can't have just like in the orchestra, just strings and nothing else. Well, unless you're a string orchestra, but you know you, you just can't have first violins and no cello, for example. So that there needs to be a balance. Even the best technical product, you need good UI UX design to make it usable. You need good documentation, like uh, my colleague Mikey uh, talked about this morning. 
and uh, also marketing to promote it and make it bring awareness to the product and the project. So um, as my time is a bit more limited, I could go more in depth to about you know how to listen, what to listen for, but maybe I'll save that for another talk in, in the next four hours, perhaps. <laughs> uh, actually, I would prefer maybe to see as a discussion to hear about what people's um, uh, ideas and opinions are, because I like to listen as well. So maybe let's make that happen. But um, if you don't listen and understand and identify the real problems in the first place, all the tools and tips won't be able to fix uh, the problem. So um, it's always good to start with the listening part. So my previous slide said, uh, jack of all trades but master of none. Now I take that back. I think a good community manager should be a master of listening. And if I had like a two or three minute lightning talk, I'll just throw this slide up and say, listen although you won't have the context uh, leading up to it, so it might not be as interesting. But uh, yeah, the, so the conductor is always listening to bring uh, balance and uh, uh, kind of dynamics to the whole piece. So a good community manager, I'm constantly uh, listening, well hopefully I'm doing that, uh, to see who needs what, well, how can certain other groups help with you know, different groups, how to make connections, and uh, if there's a disagreement, find, try to find common ground and uh, resolve, make resolutions. And then communicate while still listening, because it's always a two-way thing. It's, it's not enough that I just listen. I need to be able to uh, take what I listen and make the change, make solve the problem. So that's that. And um, in a one of the top orchestras, you, 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 hear, you see a, you know, a good conductor who probably is really good at listening and bring the best out of the orchestra. But I think the players, musicians also have a job that they can help by listening while playing, because their, their main focus is still playing and ma making the music. But by listening to their fellow players, they can help the conductor in a way to achieve the balance. And similarly, you know, I, I have... I love it when my my coworkers and uh, community members help with um, by by listening themselves to to bring more harmony and collaboration within the community. And uh, maybe it's a bit different for talking about uh, musicians. Of course, you need uh, a good hearing to uh, be able to listen. But when I talk about listening in terms of community management, uh, you can. I mean, I'm not trying to exclude people who are actually physically hard of hearing because when, when it's more about being aware, you can definitely listen with your eyes, checking out forums, RC channels, what's being discussed, who has given feedback, and uh, you know, take that as, as uh, input. So it's not just audio input, but also visual, text, whatever, that uh, the com communication channels for your project. And uh, and sometimes you notice, you know, when the orchestra is playing on stage and the conductor is waving the arms around, nobody's looking at the conductor. Uh, especially the players, they seem to be like, you know, very involved in whatever instrument they're playing. But um, actually, most of us, um, well, I was hoping some people have been play playing, uh, musicians playing in the orchestra before. Uh, but actually, we do tend to look at the conductor from occasionally from the corner of our eye or something. Uh, we are aware of the presence of the conductor, but the thing is, once you have worked closely with the conductor, you, you know his kind of rhythm, his or her kind of rhythm, you don't need to be staring at him or her all the time. Same thing with a community manager. Um, you know, it, it doesn't mean well, I do, you know, sometimes be in front of people and promote stuff at booths and events and things like that, but it's not about me being visible. I'm really promoting the project and the people uh, who worked on it and their work, uh, their effort, and the result of that to the audience. So the uh, community manager is actually a link between the orchestra and the audience. Uh, I mean, the, the conductor is the link between the orchestra and the audience. Similarly, the community manager is the link between uh, the project and the perhaps the users of the project. So you take cues from 
the audience can look at the con conductor sometimes and be, un be able to understand what's coming up or um, which sections to pay attention to. So, for example, there's a new release, you know, that, that I go to an event and spread awareness about it. And um, so, so that's part of the job. And, and definitely, you know, as, as a, a symphony or some kind of an orchestral work, there's no one way to play it. So it similarly, you know, different conductors may have slightly different interpretations of that work. And uh, I would encourage uh, community managers to have your own personality. It doesn't ma mean that you have to do a certain thing only a certain way, but, you know, bring your personality into the project. And I think, oh yes, of course, we have a Red Hat booth here at Foss North. Um, this is my third time here, and uh, first time two years ago, I talked about Manage IQ, and s actually some of you remembered that, so thank you. And uh, first time having a booth, so um, hopefully we'll continue that next time. Uh, that's actually Teresa, who's at the booth, uh, and Andreas, who, was, who are doing usability surveys, if you're interested. Uh, there's a documentation help desk with Mikey, who gave the documentation talk, talk earlier, and also just general awesomeness and more stickers to add to your collection. That's it. Thank you very much for listening. We have time for one question. And I see one question. <laughs> Do you think it makes a difference? Uh, I'm not saying it doesn't. Like, do you think it makes a difference whether the community manager is appointed by the company that develops something or emerges from the community? So whether it matters if the community manager was m a member of that specific community before or not? I think, did I turn this back on? Yeah, OK. I think there is a difference, but I think the most important thing is for the community manager to have uh, belief and passion in the project. For example, previously in Yola, I was kind of the appointed community manager. Um, but when I left Yola, James, who is sitting right here, who is the my successor, is a, he himself has been part of the community for a long time, and now he's the community manager. And uh, we do bring different kind of aspect to the community, but I think, uh, you know, we can both do a good job to, to be the community together because we're both passionate about what, what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to uh, go to the Red Hat booth and talk to me more. Thanks. <laughs>